Hey everyone and welcome back to this photography video blog and guys this blog ties in with our extremely popular and exciting foundation in photography course. So you're here with myself Thomas Woods and this video blog is brought to you by the Shaw Academy. To check out all our various courses go to www.shawacademy.com so we get a lot of questions about the differences between optical viewfinders and digital viewfinders on the different types of cameras. So I'm going to address this today with the help of some visual aids, so hopefully it'll all make sense and get a sense of how all of these work. So the first one we're going to look at is the optical viewfinder. Optical viewfinders tend to be found on DSLR cameras. The key concept of an optical viewfinder is that when you look through the camera's viewfinder, you are looking directly out through the camera's lens. What this means is that when you look through the viewfinder, you will see the scene exactly as you're going to capture it. And as the camera's lens and viewfinder are not directly in line, there's a mirror and a pentaprism which redirect the picture so that it appears through the viewfinder. And as you can see from the illustration, the viewfinder is much higher up on the camera body than the lens. So how this works is that light which makes your picture comes in through the camera's lens at the front, represented here by this red line. The picture then hits the mirror inside the camera body at point number one. The mirror then redirects the picture upwards where it enters the pentaprism at point number two. The pentaprism is almost like a box of mirrors that bounces the picture around until it exits the viewfinder. And this is where your eye is. And this is what allows you to see the picture through the viewfinder. And this gives you a very high quality view of the world as well as a very accurate view of what you're going to capture. So just to recap, Light, or the picture, enters the lens, hits the mirror inside the camera body, and it's redirected upwards into the pentaprism. It bounces around inside the pentaprism until it exits through the viewfinder. And this is what allows you to see straight through the camera's lens when you put the camera to your eye, or your eye to the viewfinder. So this is what we call the optical viewfinder. And just to give you another view of the whole process, again here we have light of the picture represented by the broken red line and it shows it entering the lens, passing through all the various glass inside the lens, hitting the mirror at the back of the camera, it is then redirected up into the pentaprism and exits where the viewer's eye is. Hopefully by now you're starting to gain an understanding of how this works. Now, you'll be surprised how many photographers will go for years and years and not really understand how this vital piece of equipment works. So just to give you an insight into what the pentaprism looks like, this image here is the pentaprism removed from the camera. And it's a complex piece of glass and mirrors, however, it does play a big role in what we see through our camera. And just to, again, to give you an, a little bit of an insight into what the mirror inside the camera looks like, here we have an illustration of the mirror inside the camera body. And this is the mirror which redirects the light and sends it up into the pentaprism. So what is the digital viewfinder? Well, this is the style of viewfinder typically found in bridge cameras and mirrorless cameras. Well, let's look at this in a little bit more detail to help you guys visualize how it works. So in the DSLR type of camera, we saw that light or the picture enters the lens at the front of the camera. It then hits the mirror, gets redirected upwards into the pentaprism where it exits the viewfinder. Cameras like bridge cameras and mirrorless cameras have what's called a digital viewfinder or an electronic viewfinder which means that they don't have a mirror system or a pentaprism inside. So when you look through the viewfinder, you're not actually seeing a real view of the scene. By real image, I mean there's no glass and mirrors creating the picture that you're seeing when you look through the camera. So how these work is that light passes through the lens, and because there's no mirror to redirect it, the light goes straight to the camera's sensor. In order for you to see the picture through the viewfinder, the sensor sends a signal to a tiny little screen in the viewfinder and projects the image onto it. So when you're looking through a digital viewfinder, you're really seeing a tiny little screen with a live picture on it, or a live view of the scene. It's basically like looking at a little TV or a computer screen that's showing you a picture of what the sensor is seeing. The main benefit of these type of viewfinders is that you're still going to get a pretty accurate view of the scene you're shooting, but it allows the camera to be much smaller and lighter. However, the quality of these little screens tend to be quite low and often very slow in terms of keeping up with your movements if you're moving around very fast. 
Another big disadvantage is that because you're looking at a low quality screen, it's very hard to judge colour and light accurately, and the scene may not be represented the way that you're seeing it. So these type of viewfinders have their advantages and disadvantages, and it's something to always be aware of when purchasing a camera. Most bridge cameras and mirrorless cameras also allow you to switch between the digital viewfinder and the LCD screen to compose your shots. So guys, hopefully you're getting an understanding of the difference between optical and digital viewfinders. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this short video, and we'll see you back very soon for another video blog.